expensive product doesn't mean that it's work for you expensive product doesn't mean that it's magic there are so many products that are hyped online my dear when you buy it notice that you've wasted your feeding for four months <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do my skincare routine for you guys i have acne prone skin i have oily skin and um i'm going to show you guys um my morning routine and my night routine the time is 2 a.m now so i am trying not to shout so um usually i do um oil cleansing sometimes and again if you want my skincare routine i have created i've made it into a pdf i can easily mail it to you so what i'll do first i'm going to do the oil cleansing method and for me i use raw shea butter okay this is the whipped shea butter that i sell so in case you buy this you might not want to put it on your face because um sometimes i use um the formula it has um lemongrass or peppermint and i don't know it might just be sensitive to that so if you want to use shea butter for oil cleansing tell me that you want the raw one i'm going to show what the raw one looks like okay i have, I have a bit of it here this is the raw shea butter yeah so i just use this for the oil cleansing and the thing about oil cleansing method is that you can get the regular oil cleansers but i don't know sometimes they will use um some oils that might make you break out the thing about shea butter is that shea butter is non-condogenic i don't know if i'm pronouncing this but that means shea butter will not clog your pores you know it, unlike coconut oil sometimes if you put coconut oil on your face i like it to get more acne but with shea butter shea butter is able to penetrate like inside and shea butter does not clog your pores and again that's what i like about shea butter is that shea butter is anti-aging and shea butter you know contains a lot of vitamins that are really really good for your skin so with the oil cleansing method you just rub the shea butter in between your palms see the way it just melted i already applied some I just um apply to my face gently like this gently just smooth it and smooth it and gently you can use two hands if you want with the oil cleansing method right the trick is to find the oil that is going to benefit your skin type and not clog your pores so you see if you go on the internet a lot of people swear by coconut oil but if you use it and it breaks you out know that coconut oil is not for you there are so many oils that uh, you can replace you can use argan oil you can use sweet almond oil you can use black seed oil if you want any of these oils just let me know i'll get them for you natural organic and all that so just make sure you're using the oil that um does not dry your skin out and at the same time the oil is able to replenish your skin penetrate your skin because the idea behind the oil cleansing method is that the oil is going to penetrate your skin and you know bind you the pollution the dead skin the sunscreen and all that break it down for you so that when you wash your face hmm, it's like your face will be really pure your like your pores will be really really clean so after um, massaging the shea butter into my face, I'll leave for like a minute or two or five minutes if I want. Then I'll take a clean washcloth or a microfiber towel. This is what I have now. Then I'll take, I'll dip it in warm water. It should not be hot, like hot, hot you get. Just be warm. Okay. So I'll just dab it on my face. I just dab it on my face like this. See, to remove the excess oil. After the oil cleansing method, I wash my face with this and I sell this in case you want this and I ship anywhere, everywhere. I wash my face with this. What I like about this black soap is that okay some people they're able to use the regular black soap and it doesn't dry their skin out or they use like doo doo or shoe or stuff when i use that on my skin it gives me cracks like it makes my skin really really dry i don't know if it's the chemicals in it or the lemon or whatever but this black soap doesn't leave your skin dry i'm not just happy because i made it i made it with the right formula so it has the right herbs in it turmeric you know goat milk you know uh, mulberry powder alma i don't even want to list everything out but this soap is the go-to guys it does not leave your skin dry so this is what i will use 
on my face and this soap a little goes a long way and what i love love about it is that it has what niacinamide in it vitamin b so i'm just going to take a little of it very small okay this one is even too much see, see how little where's my face see how little i took it For my morning routine, I would um, wash, uh, I wash my face, then I would tone my face, then I'll moisturize. If I'm using a serum, I'll use a serum. Then if I'm using sunscreen, I'll use a sunscreen. Right now, I'm still, I'm not yet decided. There's a sunscreen I got, but it makes my face, it leaves this whitish flame, so I hardly use it. So I'm going to... And again, so in the past, if you watch my last skincare routine video, the one I made last year, you see that I used this toner, but now I'm like out of it, like, and it is expensive. So I switched to my regular rose water toner, which is pretty much doing me good, I think. So I'm just going to... Or better say, I can apply it on it and just that my face if you want this i can easily get it for you this is quite very very affordable like 2k compared to this one that i got for 9k so this will save you a lot of money let me show you guys what the cotton pad looks like see you can see that see after using the toner this is what it looks like so a toner is supposed to help balance your skin's ph and you know if there's any remaining debt it's supposed to take it out so okay so i feel like there's a skincare debate on whether you should moisturize first before you use your serum or whether she's a serum first so i follow this um skincare expert on instagram and she said that you are supposed to moisturize your skin first before you use your serum because the moisturizer is going to um open up your pores in such a way that the serum will be able to act you know the active ingredients need to penetrate it i don't know if i'm making sense so i'm going to moisturize my skin and i'm going to show you guys the moisturizers that i use i've um i either use this simple moisturizer or i use the ordinary i've had this for like almost nine months now or six months they last they go a long way because moisturizer i just use you just need a tiny a little bit of it so either i use this or i use this and um I don't know for some reason i really prefer this it is really really lightweight like it's just it's really lightweight and it contains about three four ingredients straight to the point this is also good this is also good so any one that you want and this is actually cheaper i think this one's like 3k or 35 i think this one is like 5k so i'm going to use a little of it this one is probably much just a little of it put it on my palms I'm going to dab my face then i'm going to go in with my face serum okay this is the face serum that i use now see i'm almost out so i've not used this in past in for like weeks now i'm trying to manage it um i'm going to just use my it, it contains niacinamide and zinc zinc you guys know that niacinamide is like really good for acne and zinc too is really good for acne that's why when you have acne you have to try to eat foods that are rich in omega-3 vitamin e and zinc so that you know your acne will be better so i'm just going to take a little see the few drops i use i'm going to apply it to i'm going to focus on where i have spots my hyperpigmentation and my acne scars because that's what i'm trying to clear up okay you guys this is also another face serum that i have tried um it's called hada labo it's supposed to contain um i think um what does it even contain it's written in a lot of Chine chinese or japanese i'm not sure but i think it's supposed to contain all this good stuff you know niacinamide or what so collagen or so but um i don't know it's good it's, it's slimy almost like aloe vera i feel like it is overhyped aloe vera and it's it, i think it was pretty affordable i think it was like 7k or so and it has lasted a long time or 6 or 8k i'm not sure so um so after my face serum if i'm going outside i'm going to use a sunscreen which i told you guys before that 
I still need I need to buy another sunscreen because I stopped using this one. It makes my face whitish and it's, it's things and the this the smell is too it has a really really strong fragrance for a sunscreen which i do not understand like it's supposed to be sunscreen why do you smell so powerful so i'm going to use this if i'm going outside so you guys now so for my for my nice time skincare routine after i wash my face with the turmeric glow soap you guys get on this i sell it by my market after i wash my face with that and um Okay, let me put everything in perspective. So, it is advisable to do the oil cleansing method. What I did with the shea butter is advisable to do it at night because they assume that you've gone outside, you've taken all that pollution, all that dirt is now on your skin, you just want to take that junk out. So, do your oil cleansing at night. Then, in the morning, just do your normal wash and go. So, um, at night, after my oil cleansing and my african black soap that i sell after washing my face with that then i view just go ahead i don't i don't use a face serum at night i will just um if i want i'll also tone my face with the i'll just spray my face with rose water then i will use a moisturizer so either this or that very little very very little okay then what i do different i don't use a face serum i use um this i used this last year then i stopped using it for some months like six months or so then i got it like two weeks back at night i'm going to use this a little and this one too a little goes a long way you guys and um i advise that if you want to start using retinol start from the one that's really low retinol is a form of um, vitamin uh, vitamin a look at it this is 0, 0.0 so this one is like really really low so i'm just going to take a little of it this is for my night time oh. take a little of it focus on where i have spots where it's not can make your skin dry and like i said this is the raw shea butter i use the raw one then i want to apply it on my face i use the raw shea butter on my face then for my skin at night too I use my triple body butter, which I sell. This is my own. So I use my triple body butter. It contains um, avocado butter, contains shea butter, and cocoa butter. It's really good for stretch marks, fine lines, aging spots. It makes your skin plump. Your skin just have that glow, you know, just have that extra glow to it naturally. No bleaching agent, you guys. Hop on this. I sell it and I ship worldwide. So I wash with, I wash my body with this too. I wash my body with black soap. I was using black soap for like God knows when. Even when I was in Ghana, share water black soap. So I'm going to apply this on my skin. This is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, which I know that you did, please, 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 please like this video leave a comment ask me your questions i don't mind you know prizes where to get product from i don't mind buying things for you i'm your girl i will link you up any other thing just ask me your questions you know if you want my pdf of um, my skincare routine i will send it to you and then share this video with your friends and um remember that when it comes to skincare routine, right? What works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me. This is about skincare and natural hair. Is um, getting to know your hair, getting to know yourself. What can I put on my skin in the desert and it won't break out? You know, shea butter, aloe vera. What can I put on my hair and you know, it's just just try to get in tune with your inner energy. Okay, now I sound like a motivational speaker. What I'm trying to say is that try to understand your skin what it likes and what it doesn't like and another thing i want to advise is that don't just hop on products i see a lot of people you go on twitter they ask for skincare and they just they buy a whole list of 10 products it's not it's not advisable when trying new products it's always good to try like two or maximum three at a go so when your skin is breaking out acting all cranky you know that okay it's definitely this thing i added this is the new stuff there. But if there's a lot of products, you don't even know which ones are your staple. You don't know which ones are making you break out. Like, you don't know if it's your food, your exercise, your diet, or whatever. You'll be legit confused. So, always try to use, um, keep it simple, you know. Just keep it simple. Moisturizer, serum, and um, sunscreen. Simple. Cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen. Simple. Just keep it simple, Okay. So that when your when your face adapts or you know that okay these cheap products are like good that it goes 
you like you can add stuff and that's not to point out is that expensive product doesn't mean that it's work for you expensive product doesn't mean that it's magic there are so many products that are hyped online my dear when you buy it notice that you've wasted your feeding for four months money that can feed you for four months when you can guess like you can easily swap with something else do you understand so don't don't break the bank for a skincare routine or whatever and always remember that what you eat is going to reflect on your skin i know it sounds whack but i noticed that when i'm really really stressed i get like these tiny pimples and i get this disgusting breakout and when i don't have like a healthy lifestyle you know when i'm always eating junk and i don't do press ups, i don't exercise my skin is just so just try you don't have to go to the gym to lift weights you can just do your squats you can just do your sit up you can do just something little in your room just try to you know keep your metabolism going or whatever for good skin so you guys please 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 and to shop my product there's a link in the description if you click on it you send it straight to me to chat with me on whatsapp you know or you can say hello on the instagram page my business instagram so you guys um thank you so much it was nice filming this video i'm um, sorry that i came late because a lot of you were asking me some months back but i've been mad busy so you guys have a nice day happy night see you in my next video bye